Hey, Gabe. I just got an email from this jewelry shop online. And, well, I think it's some kind of a scam. You're telling me they're trying to scam us? Actually, I just got a call from their store as well. They've told me in both the email and over the phone now that last week while in their store we dropped a handkerchief on the floor. What? They then told me that they'd be sending it to our house for us as long as I provided them with the house address. But this to me seems like some kind of scam. Uh, what do you think? We haven't been to any jewelry stores lately. And they are now asking us to give them our address. So, I'm thinking before I do any of that, I'm going to let the police know what's going on here. Well, wait a minute. You don't have to call the police about that one. I'm going to give that store a call right now, so you can go ahead and relax about it. What? I don't think they need to be sending us anything in the mail, so I'll go to the store and see what they want. Can you tell them that right now, if you're still on the phone with them? So you're telling me this isn't a scam at all, but... That you actually went there before? Did you end up going out to a jewelry store the other day, Gabe? Oh. Did you go out looking for a present for me? It will be our five-year anniversary next month, right? Huh? Who do you think is going to be buying you any kind of present? I'm not going to be wasting my money on a five-year anniversary like that. Wasting? This is going to be our five-year wedding anniversary, though. Well, if you weren't there shopping for me, then why were you there at all? What did you end up buying there, and for who? Well, I was, um, I was there for my little sister, Jillian. That girl just got back from being overseas for school, finally. And she said to me that she's chosen where she's going to be working now. So as a way of celebrating her accomplishments, I planned on getting her a present from that store. What? So, Jillian is back in the States now? Also, it's awesome to hear that she was able to find a company that would hire her right off the bat. Well, I suppose you're going to have to celebrate something like that. So, now that you know why, I'm going to head over to that store later and get what I forgot. If you're alright with it, I can head over there for you and get the handkerchief. I was just planning on heading out of the house to go shopping myself. Don't do that. I just told you that I'm going there later to get it. Don't you dare suggest such needless crap like that to me again. Uh, what was that? I just thought I'd be helping you out by doing that. I'm telling you to shut up and just focus on the home and nothing else. Don't you dare concern yourself with anything else regarding that store. This is an order from your husband. Max, thank you so much for the present celebrating me finding a job. I can't believe you'd get me such a nice journal as this. I'll make sure to use it every day at work. You don't have to thank me, Jillian. Actually, I'm sorry that my present to you was a bit late. I had only just heard from your brother a little while ago about how you'd found yourself a job now. No worries, okay? I've been really busy with everything after getting back to the U.S., so I never had time to say anything to too many people. I'm sorry about not getting the news out to you sooner. As a way of showing my thanks, uh, let me take you somewhere out to eat. I actually happen to have some gifts for you from overseas, so it'd be nice to meet. Really? Oh, thank you so much for them. Then I'd love to go out to eat with you then. Oh, on that day, I'd love for you to wear whatever piece of jewelry it was that your brother had gotten for you. I really want to know what he ended up getting you from that store a couple weeks ago. <laughs> what? I was supposed to get something from Gabe? I've never actually been given any kind of jewelry from Gabe before yet. I think the only thing he's ever gotten me is this wedding ring, and that was years ago. And, well, it's just a wedding ring, and all women get them from their husband. I want to know what a man like Gabe got for his cute little sister. <laughs> I was actually quite surprised when I heard he was getting you anything at all. <laughs> um, what the heck are you going on about right now? 
I haven't gotten anything from him yet. What? But he should have given you some kind of jewelry as a present for getting your first big job, right? Gabe went out by himself to get that for you and was never going to tell me about it. Well, I haven't gotten anything from him at all. And, wait, he was going to get me jewelry as a present? <laughs> what? He hasn't even ever gotten me presents for my birthday, so I doubt he'd give me anything over this. He and I have never been that close to one another, so I don't think he's ever going to get me anything. But, but before, Gabe was telling me about how he was at that jewelry store getting something for you as a gift. That's at least what he was telling me at the time. Um, Max? There is something that I've been wanting to tell you about, and I was hoping to do so when we met in person to eat. But, um, I think my brother might be cheating on you. What? Gabe is? Right after getting back into the country, I had gone out to see my brother for the first time in a long time, and he had brought a friend along with him. She was very young and short, and he had his arm around her shoulder as they walked up to me. No way. I thought that perhaps the two were just close or something, but after what you just mentioned, I think I know what's been going on. I even saw him again another time while out with some friends, and he was with that same girl, only this time his hand was around her waist. I know it's been a long time since I've seen him from the back, but I know that that man was him, with the same woman. But, but Gabe has always been so busy with his job. But he shouldn't have the time to be going out with another woman right now. He might just be calling it work when he's really going out with another woman behind your back. I had another friend that had the same thing happen to her when her man was cheating on her. And in the end, those two broke up. Are you kidding me? Don't you find what's going on with Gabe in that jewelry store a little off? I haven't gotten anything from him yet. However, he was telling you that he was there to get me some kind of jewelry for my present? He was. Now that you mention it, something isn't right here. And now that I'm thinking about it, today is his day off from work, but he's not home. For the past few weeks, it's been this way, actually, with him telling me he's always had to go out to eat, leaving me at home alone. I think that right there is proof that he's cheating on you. And if he were actually working as much as you might want to think he is, then he'd be working way too many hours a week for the job he has. You've said that he's always out late every weekday for work, and now he's also out doing things that he wants to make seem like work or meetings on the weekend. And he should be tired from all of that, but instead he's always ready to leave the house with so much energy... I think I should take a moment to look into this some more. I think it's going to be really difficult for you to deal with the truth of him actually cheating on you. So if you're going to dive into what he's doing like that, be ready for a very sour truth. And of course, I'm on your side in all of this, so you can ask for my help with anything. Thank you, Jillian. To be honest, for a little bit, I have been worried he might be cheating on me. But I never wanted to find out if it was true or not, so I just chose not to think about it. However, having you beside me now, it gives me some confidence. My brother's always been a bit sloppy with things, so I'm sure you'll get some evidence in no time. If things get out of hand, make sure to call me the moment you need my help. I will be right at your side with the snap of your fingers. I finally made it out here. Now, while I'm out of the country for work, I'd like you to take good care of the house. Sure thing. Leave it to me. Do your best on your very first business trip out of the country. I'm sure it might be a little tough at first, but with you being you, you'll get used to things there. Well, of course I'll be fine. 
<laughs> my company seems to think that I've been doing an awesome job and knows that I'll be perfectly fine in another country while working for him. I'm going to make sure that with this business trip, I'll prove him right and make something happen for the company here. Ah, well, while you're out there, do you mind buying me something as a gift to bring home? You're out there for a while, so when you have some downtime, you can buy me some treats that we can't really get in the U.S.? Also, would you mind picking me up some spices and things like that from there as well? I would love to try cooking with them sometime. Huh? I'm not in another country on vacation right now. This is all about work. I was never asked by the company to go out buying things for you, so shut up. You don't have to get that upset with me over a simple request. I'm totally fine with just some things from the gift shop in their airport. He's such an idiot. <laughs> a very business businessman like me does not have the time to be out buying things for you, right? Now, I'd like to focus solely on my job here, so please do not call me or text me while I'm gone. <laughs> Molly, I finally made it over here. Molly, when are you supposed to be arriving here? I really want to hurry up and have you in my arms on this island. Or without anybody knowing about it. <laughs> What was that? I was somebody having themselves a little nap on the plane. I made sure to give you a call this morning to make sure we talked through everything regarding the trip, right? <laughs> oh, I hope you got enough sleep. Yeah, you sleepy head. And get out to me on time. I've always been so nice and on time with you, so you better not still be on your plane or in the airport taking your time with the luggage. You'll only make me upset. <laughs> Oh, how scary. I made sure to sleep a bunch on the plane and am coming out to meet you now. Only a few more minutes and I'll be seeing you again, Gabe. Hey now. Hey now, Molly. You and I are finally on our first vacation with one another, so please call me Daddy this time. I don't know anybody on this island, neither do you, so you can go all out with showing how much you love me. I'm madly in love with you, and I hope you're just the same way with me. I'm so happy to hear that, Daddy. <laughs> but I'm wondering if you'll be able to manage that love for me for a whole week. If you become too crazy for me while we're here, your wife might find out and do who knows what to you when you go home. <laughs> That'll never happen, so... I'll be fine. <laughs> my wife is the most stupid idiot on this planet. She can't even see that I've been cheating on her for a while now, so I'll be a-okay. <laughs> what? Your wife is really that much of an idiot? Well, she's so stupid that it killed the love for her I once had. Oh, just a little while back, she found out about me going to that jewellery store and should have been able to catch you hint then. All I did was tell her a small little lie about how I was shopping for my little sister. She never suspected a thing. <laughs> but even right now, she's convinced I've gone overseas for a business trip. Yeah. She's never going to doubt a single thing I'm doing, that brainless idiot. <laughs> what? You keep going on and on about how stupid she is, and it's making me feel a little bad for her. She just happens to be a crappy wife is all. You're being too nice for feeling bad for her. If you keep acting like that, I might stop wanting to meet you. Yeah, but I won't ever want to stop meeting you, my little Molly Wally. Been looking forward to this vacation with you for so long. And starting today, you and I are going to be making love for a whole week. You can go ahead and forget about my stupid wife. Let's make this a vacation we'll never forget. <laughs> Have fun on the last vacation you'll ever be taking. <laughs> what? Just like you're wanting. I'm going to make sure this last vacation is one you'll never be able to forget. I'm going to make sure while you're on that trip with her, I'm by your side the whole time following you. This is going to be our last time spent together, so I'd like to spend it taking all kinds of photos of you both together. And, by the way, I'm with Molly right now on our way over, so don't worry about where she's been. 
And once I get over there, you can start having all the fun you want with your Molly Wally. Huh? What? What's going on? Huh? Molly? This is you, right, Molly? You can calm down, Daddy. This only happens to be the planet's number one idiot on the other end of the phone. What? It seems like Daddy was so happy about being with his little girl that he started to text me instead of her. And for this whole time, you've been going on and on about your plans with her to me, so I decided to just play along like I was her. <laughs> I wonder what you're going to do now about all this. <laughs> huh. Oh, crap. Oh, I've really done it now. So you're telling me that this whole time I've been texting you and not Molly? I told you I was just acting like her is all. I can't believe you never started to notice anything. You're kidding me, right? Uh, I'm about to be getting on the plane now to be there right beside you. So can you please wait a little longer for me to get there? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is very much not okay, right? Something's up here. What the actual freak is going on? What? What's not okay about all of this? I admit that I made a mistake by sending all those texts to you instead of her, but why are you with Molly right now? You stayed back at the house after saying goodbye to me today, right? And right after that, I headed straight for the airport myself. I knew all about the plans you had with Molly to go to the Bahamas and have a little secret vacation together. And I knew about how you'd both be heading over there on different planes. And so I aimed to go on the same plane as her, and right now we are both on our way to see you. Huh? You knew about all this before I left the house? Even the biggest idiot this planet has ever seen was able to notice that something was up with you the whole time. So I went ahead and planned some things out myself and started to look into what was really up with you. And what I found out was that you'd be saying you were going on a business trip, but you really planned on going to the Bahamas with Molly. And so after finding all of that out, I planned on filling out our divorce papers and then leaving you for good. But then I thought it would be even more fun to come along and be there with you guys. <laughs> uh, uh, you have all this all wrong, Max. I'm sure this might all, all look like I'm going on a vacation to cheat on you, but this is actually about, um, about business. What? Well, that trip overseas was changed to, to me just going to the, to the Bahamas. I'm sure you have no idea what I mean when I say that since you're just a housewife. But, um, a company's asking their employees to change locations like that last minute for work is quite common, and this time they asked me to come here. Then you were just planning on having the woman you're cheating on me with come along with you to do business in the Bahamas? Uh, Molly actually happens to be one of my co-workers. She happens to be one of my subordinates, and... Well, we're so close to one another that we give each other nicknames like that. That whole conversation I thought I was having with her just then, it was all a gag we usually do. You think with the way things are now, you're still going to be able to fool me? From what I can tell by looking at her, she is in clothing not acceptable for work, and she only has a small bag on her that does not look like it's filled with things for work. Tell me, what about a girl like her is your co-worker for this business trip? <laughs> uh, I'm actually the one who brought all of our things along for us. I'm sure you just have no clue what's going on here since you're just a housewife. When it comes to business trips like this, where more than one person's going and one of the employees happens to be female, the male co-workers will bring her things for her. That is just messed up. I might have only just started working for a big company like you, but even I know there is no rule like that. I have heard about all sorts of things when it comes to business, but I have not ever once heard about how the men have to bring along the women's things on a business trip. What? You think that just because she's a housewife, she doesn't know a thing about your world? If anything, you're making yourself look like more of an idiot than you've painted Max as. You are aware that before getting married, Max was working full-time herself and is very much aware of a lot of the rules when it comes to business. You really did not think things through in making up a lie like that for her. 
Oh, wait. But this doesn't seem like Molly Ulmex right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, Gabe. This is me, your little sister, Jillian. What? what? Jillian too? Why are you with Max now as well? You know, I came along with her in order to help her deal with you. When I heard about her going on this trip to follow you and Molly out on your little vacation overseas, I thought that was very brave of her. But then I began to worry. And so I'm going to make this my last fun trip before entering that company I've been hired into. What? So that means right now it's not just Molly and Max anymore coming your way, but myself as well. I am oh so looking forward to this week-long vacation in the Bahamas. Come back to me, Max. You can't just go right back to your parents' house the moment we got home. Don't you think you can rethink divorcing me over this? I can't do that anymore. I plan to hand in the divorce papers soon, so can you please sign them and then send them to me? Please do not ask me to do things like that. I won't cheat on you anymore. I was just having a little fun is all. I don't really give a crap what any of that meant. All I care about is how I feel now and about all the scars you've given me. I want to get away from the man who thinks it's okay to cheat on his wife and go overseas for a little rendezvous, and I'm going to be doing that right now. But I'm telling you, I'll never step you in the back like that again. All that whole time we were in the Bahamas, I was apologizing to you, right? When it came to your hotel and all the food, I was the one that paid. I had to do all of that to make up for what I did to you, so don't you dare keep asking for more from me. Excuse me? Are you in the position right now to be getting upset with me? I'm wondering if you even know what position you're in right now. You're the housewife that's been having to rely on my income to survive. Do you really want to push me away from you with that divorce? The moment my money stops going to you, you'll be done for, you idiot. And that's why, in order to get myself back out there, I'm planning to get every last penny out of you. I'm going to not only be getting half of what we owned, but I'll also be getting a settlement from you. So please pay it off. What? That's right. I've been in talks with a lawyer this whole time. That's why along with those divorce papers, I'll be handing in forms on a settlement that I'd like to receive from you. You may have been the most insufferable cheating husband, but you at least made some good money, so I'll be taking that now. Then I'll be able to take my time getting my life back on track. Uh, hey, wait a sec. You, you've already been talking to the lawyer about all this? I learned from your sister that speed is of the essence when getting rid of vile insects like you. That's why I've been preparing for this day for weeks now. You're lying to me, right? So then, you really are being serious about this divorce. Once you and I are through with, then you can go ahead and have all the fun, loving time you want with Molly. You should be very excited for this divorce. No freaking way. I'm excited. Her and I are done talking to one another now. And that's because you started asking her to give you a settlement as well. Well, I need her to be responsible for laying a hand on my husband. So before she could run away from all this, I made sure my lawyer got in touch with her and made things very official. She's already paid me now, but I get you both are no longer a thing. Her and I broke up so you can give all this up now, dang it. I'm asking you please not to ask for a divorce. I've been stressed by work for so long and I just needed a breath of fresh air with her. So in order for you to get that breath of fresh air, you're totally okay with hurting your wife? You're fine with calling her brainless and an idiot and all kinds of other horrible things? Can you show me where something like that is written down saying it's okay? Uh, well, that was... You and I are getting a divorce. This was decided long ago by you before I even knew anything about you cheating on me. And you only made your feelings about wanting one even more apparent by going on that trip with Molly. 
but I never thought that you'd do a 180 like this and start asking for me to stay with you. That's because I don't want you leaving me. I just cheated on you one time is all right. You say that like one time of cheating is totally okay and moral. Did you know that this whole time you've been cheating on me, I've been having to go through sleepless night after sleepless night thinking about you? I thought that I'd finally made my point and the outcome for you all clear and that I'd finally get a good night's worth of sleep. But you want to try and fix things with me now after all that? What's been done cannot be fixed and I have a phone full of messages that you accidentally sent to me proving so. What? Well, let me tell you that recently I've had this problem where I'll put my phone in my pocket and it'll start sending screenshots that I've taken to random people. And when I lay down in bed and put it on the charger, my phone will open an app and send things to people both you and I know. Hey, hey, stop that. That is not okay to be talking about, right? Um, right? You and I can get divorced, okay? But please take all those screenshots of our conversation, all the photos of me and Molly in the Bahamas, and delete them. I'll do that for you, as long as you sign the papers and send me the money I'll ask for. Now, I'll have my lawyer get in touch with you in a few days here, so please work together with them to get your money situation with me all figured out. After that, I was able to safely get a divorce from Gabe, and along with that, I was also able to get all the money I had asked for from him. Soon after that, I got a text from Jillian telling me to focus on getting a job first and that I would have time to relax later on. So with all the advice she gave me, I was able to enjoy the money I received from Gabe and Molly while going out and looking for a proper job again. And while I've been at it, I'm thinking of taking a few online classes to help me get certifications that'll get me into the career I want faster. Now, when it comes to what happened to Gabe after the divorce, he ended up being disowned by his whole family who found out what happened. But it wasn't just his family, though, that found out. As a little while later, some of his co-workers learned about what happened with him while he was in the Bahamas. He had actually been doing so well for himself at his job, but with this rumor about him spreading around, his higher-ups began to think otherwise about the kind of man he was. So, as of right now, he is still stuck working for that company while getting some of the worst looks from everyone in the office. <laughs>